Welcome to Ancon Network, where you get updates of things happening around you and things you would like to know. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to this channel and those who are yet to subscribe. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click the red button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. This time around, we have wonderful news for you that you'll be glad that you are aware of. Stay tuned. People's Democratic Party candidate in Imo State, Jones Onyiriri, has described as slaughtering of justice the judgments Justice Okona Bank of the Federal High Court Abuja, which ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission to issue Rochas Okorocha's certificates of return. But the governorship candidate of the Action Alliance in the state, Uche Umosu, described the ruling as a defender of constitution and democracy. Speaking with journalists in Oweri, the Imo State Capital, Umosu said the judiciary had continued to preserve a democracy he said the judiciary has shown that it is the last hope of the common man the landmark judgment has shown that no matter how hard you try to suppress the truth justice will always prevail a statement in Oweri, the state capital by the director general jones onyeriri campaign organization eze ugochuku eze ugochuku shortly after the judgment was delivered accused abang of bias in the matter Describing the judgment as a no sitting decision, the PDP candidate said he would appeal the judgment. He accused Justice Abang of intimidating and harassing defense lawyers while allowing the plaintiff to have a, a field day in court. The statement read in part, We are not surprised by the decision of the Abuja High Court 7 presided over the Justice Okon Abang. Right from the commencement of the ex-party application by Owele Rocha Sukurucha against INEC, the inevitability of the judgment was obvious. The handling of the case from the start left much to be desired as issues of obvious bias were not hidden, including suspension and abridgment of rules of court, overt intimidation of defense lawyers, and harassment of same, whereas the plaintiff lawyer was allowed a field day in court. The reality is that the decision came from a court of first instance. Therefore, the decision stands to be tested at the appellate court while the trial at the judgment goes on. It's not a surprising thing because when this kind of a thing happens, the loser is always complaining, irrespective of how the judgment has really gone. They will have to come to like defend themselves that the winner couldn't have gotten that kind of judgment because they would have preferred that the judgment would have been in their favor. Let's assume it is the PDP candidates that got the victory at the court. Of course, they will not be singing this kind of song. Meanwhile, I know a lot of people you know, were really shocked by the decision of the court declaring Okorocha winner at the end of the day, or ordering INEC to issue certificates of return to him, because you could see the atmosphere. There was this calm, there was no happiness and all of that. But the happiness you could see was just within the Okorocha's family, his in-law and everybody. Of course, it is expected, but majority of people are not really satisfied with this kind of decision. Rumor has it that Okorocha went to visit or went to meet with the, uh, the president and after some meeting and all of that, that maybe that could be a result of why they had to like, you know, release that certificate to Okorocha so that it will add to the number of APC senators. As we know now, the gap between APC senators and PDP senators are so close now that if care is not taken, I hope what happened in the 8th assembly might not happen again. So I know in the camp of Rocha Sokorocha, there is this jubilation, happiness and all of that. But at the other side, you don't expect them to be smiling. And that is why they are coming up that they are going to challenge this again in court. So guys, that's just my opinion concerning what PDP chapter in Imo State has really said. I would like you guys to put your comment down and let's learn together and rub minds together. Thank you very much.